Hi guys, it's Lou. So today I didn't know what kind of video I was going to film for my first video. I was going to do a review, but then I thought as I'm starting out on BookTube, I may as well do a, a tag. So I have got the BookTube newbie tag here to do. And yeah, I'm just going to run through the questions and answer them. So first question. So I've just got them written down here on new stationery. What is it about new stationery that's just, oh, love it, love it. Anyway, so first question, why did you start this channel? I've been watching booktube channels for quite a long time now and I just, I find them so engaging and it makes you want to read more and the fact that you discover so many books and I also, I just, I want to be a part of that. I want to be part of the discussion, you, you, the messaging back and forth about different, because a lot of times you try and talk to people about books and maybe they're not as into reading as you are and they kind of just glaze, they just glaze over because they're, they're bored or they're just not interested at all. So the fact that I, you know, I can talk to people who have the same passion for reading that I have just really excites me so but I've been putting it off putting it off but I've decided now I need to just go for it and just dive right in so second question what are some uh, what are I can't even read my writing what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube well one of the things is that I'm a British woman living in Australia I've been in Australia now since 2011 I've been back home, back and forth, but um, I've been in Australia since 2011 and I've lived in three different states and yeah, I just think I want to read more Australian authors, all the books by Australian authors I've loved, so that's another thing that I think I can bring. I want to read more Australian uh, fiction and I think that's something that I can definitely bring to the BookTube uh, community because I think there are some absolutely incredible Australian authors and the landscape in Australia is such it's a character in itself so so many Australian fiction novels have that element in it as as a character in itself so I find that really really interesting so next question what are you most excited for about this new channel again just engaging in the community and getting involved in the community and just exploring things that I wouldn't normally pick up. There's so many books that I've picked up very recently actually that have just been amazing reads that I would have no idea about at all that you know booktube has has managed to give me. So but I think I think also just just talking about characters and I think reading is such a great way of oh, just exploring the human condition and learning about things that you would never normally learn about and just being able to talk about them and yeah that's basic yeah that's my, that's my answer for that one stop rambling louise okay why do you love reading again like i just said the fact that it is such an exploration of the human condition and it makes you when you read about certain characters you you can relate to them you can feel for them and you get a sense of different perspectives that you would never even think about. You can, you can look through a character's eyes. The fact that you can just escapism as well, pure escapism. The fact that whatever's going on in your life, you can pick up a book and get complete, especially when it's a good book, get completely immersed in the story and it's just just perfect escapism and you don't need to you know you don't need to plug it in you don't need to charge it you can take it anywhere with you and it's just yeah I've always I've always loved reading always even when I was a you know very very small my mum used to read to me all the time and yeah, I just developed this love of reading from a very early age. I think it was part of the reason that the fact that I never slept when I was a kid <laughs> at all. My poor mum, I, yeah, I slept, I didn't sleep at all. So 
a bit of a sidetrack note, but there was another little boy who was born on the same day as me. And my mum met up with uh, his mum about two years after we were born. And I was just completely fluent. Like, chatter, 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 chatter. And he could only say a few words. But he slept through the night, whereas <laughs> I never slept. So I think, you know, my love of words and talking and, you know, I was always quite theatrical as a kid as well. So I love learning about characters. And I think that that definitely, you know, stimulated my love of reading from a very early age. So, yeah, I would say say that's why. So next one, what book or series got you into reading? I think if we're talking about sort of very young, Roald Dahl. I loved Roald Dahl. He was just, I just love his stories. I still do to this day. Um, but I think he was the one that really, I think it was him and Dick King Smith. And I remember when I was quite young, the school wanted us to write to our favorite author. And when I find out, found out he passed, Roald Dahl had passed away, I was like, I was just devastated. I was like, no, this can't happen. I, I need to write to him. I need to tell him how amazing he is. So, but I wrote to Dick King Smith um, instead. But yeah, I would definitely say that that started the phase of reading. And then probably the next really significant book I can think of is Jane Eyre. Just, oh, just love, 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 love that book. And yeah. And then, then I went to uni and sorry about that um the postie has just come in across the road and my dogs have decided to go crazy and yeah apparently the postie is the devil um if you have dogs you probably already know this um yeah so as i was saying when i went to uni i did english li english literature and drama and that also developed even more my love of reading and books, especially as we picked up books that I would never, never have approached at all, ever. And as anyone who's done English literature at uni will know, there are some books that you have to make your way through that are just not your cup of tea. And you have to completely analyze them and pick them apart. And I think, at uni, you also develop both a love and a hate of reading because I think it takes a while after you finish that degree to not analyse, to not pick apart. And you still do. You try not to, but you still do. And two other texts that ignited my love of reading just before I went to uni, just came into my head then, was The Woman in White. Oh, amazing book. And a Thomas Hardy novel. Which one was it? Oh, I can't think. If I remember, I'll put it in the in the video now. But yeah, that those two were just oh, I loved it. I did my, my I did my dissertation on the uh sensation fiction of the late sort of eighteen hundreds which included Woman in White, Lady Audley's Secret by uh, Mary Elizabeth Braddon, and uh, what was the other one? It was Uncle Silas. Yeah, so that also ignited my love of reading. And I loved The Woman in White before I did my dissertation, but, and the, the, the lecturer even said to me, you might not want to pick this because after you've done your dissertation on it, you may not want it ever think about it again but no I I still love still love that book totally totally love it so that was a very long answer for that question wasn't it sorry and the next question what questions would you ask your favorite booktuber hmm I have quite a few I have to say what would I ask what would I ask I really want to get into audio and audio books but I'm not sure how to go about it. I've never done it before. I'd love to be able to sort of download them on my phone and then listen to them when I'm in the car or, you know, traveling somewhere. I'd love to do that. So I'd love to get some advice on, on how to go about that. Whether you can, you listen to them when you're offline or, you know, 
all that kind of stuff I had no idea I need to look into it myself really rather than being lazy and asking somebody else so and what else would I ask I would ask them if they could have a spot to read in the world where would they want to read that would be my one of my questions I would want to ask is what where would they want to what spot would they want to read in and who their favorite character do they think out of all the books they've read um do they like the most on my goodreads account there is a picture of the or you can google it yourself the south australia state library oh it is just outside it looks it's like a modern building where you can actually lend out the books and things like that and then there's an old part at the back and it is something out of harry potter it is just beautiful and there's bookcases as far as the eye can see and there's everything's dark wood and it just feels like this like you're in like you're in hogwarts basically and when i saw that for the first time when we were living in adelaide I kept thinking, oh, if if I could have gone to uni here, like this is where I would come to study, because it's just, yeah, it's just it's just book heaven, book heaven, most definitely. Final question, and I'll stop rambling. What challenge do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Probably the editing that's something that's completely alien to me so getting used to that will definitely be tricky um, I'm filming it on my iPhone at the moment and I've got to use iMovie on my uh, what, the iMovie app that's what I'm trying to say so yeah I think that's gonna be the hardest thing and probably not buying too many books because every time I watch somebody's video I'm sort of adding to my TBR pile on Goodreads and Book Depository and things like that. So that, and where I'm in Australia, a lot of the books are coming from the Book Depository in the UK, because that's, bizarrely, that is the cheapest way to buy books in Australia. I either go to charity shops or I get them from the Book Depository because it's actually, it's bonkers, but it's actually cheaper getting the books from the Book Depository in the UK than it is going and buying a book uh, online in Australia or in a bookshop, which I just think is ludicrous. But that's that's what I've that's probably going to be. And the, the fact the reason why I'm mentioning that is because sometimes the post takes a lot longer than you think it's going to. It could last. It could take a week for a book to get to you, or it might take three weeks. It. It, you know, the postal service between the UK and Australia really sort of, you know, someday, sometimes it's like, just comes to you. And the next time you're like, where is my book? Bring me my book. I mean, I do like read my, read with my, I don't know why I'm pointing because you can't see, but like I use my Kindle a lot, but there's something about having a physical book in your hand that I just think is awesome. So... The last thing I just wanted to chat, chat about, which I didn't answer in the previous question that's just popped into my head, these, you know, pops into my head, these little things. My channel name, because I think it's kind of important because I've called it Letters from Lou because A, that's my name, Louise, and B, I think letter writing is such a, it's such a dying art and I think it's just so... It's so wonderful re having getting a letter in the post. When I was a kid, I used to get letters all the time, all the time from pen pals and things like that. And I think now everything is electronic, which is fine, you know, but I think there's something about receiving a letter is just, yeah. And also the fact that it relates to words and books and my opinions about things. So yeah, so this is, this is like a, a virtual, a virtual letter, shall we say. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough now, so, but I am going to be putting up a book review in the next week or so. So, but I thought I'd just start with this, so hopefully I will talk to you guys soon. Oh, and before I go, I must, I must thank um, Claire from The Book Fox, 
and Leanne from Literary, literary, blah, literary Diversions because they really have given me such encouragement to start doing this and I was really quite nervous and a bit apprehensive but they really did help me sort of just just do it just do it so yeah I want to thank those guys and um I shall speak to you soon